everybody, it's Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com. I am so glad that you joined me for another quick and easy card. Hey, if you love the idea of cards and projects that go together super fast and super easy, you've come to the right place. You've come to my YouTube channel. Now, if you like what you see today, do me a favor and click that subscribe button so that you'll receive notifications whenever I have a new video. Because guys around here, it's all about quick, simple, and to the point. We like to get you stamping. Speaking of to the point, let's get to the point of today's video, we're going to create this really great one sheet wonder project. I love one sheet wonders. They are so much fun. And I think you guys do too. This project is actually going to create two different Christmas crackers. And it is so fun. Guys, you just twist the end and the candy comes flying out. How fun is that? It's very simple to do. Let me show you how. All right, are you ready? Let's go ahead and get started with what we need to create our Christmas cracker. We're gonna start with our cardstock. Now this piece, very simple, eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. I'll be using Cherry Cobbler, but you're actually going to pick a color that's going to match your designer series paper. So I'm using the Festive Farmhouse Designer Series paper, and we're going to need eight pieces. And these pieces are cut seven eighths inch by six inches. We'll need some ribbon to tie those up. I've got four pieces. These are cut 10 inches long, and this is our gold metallic edge ribbon. This really makes the cracker look extra special. And the last thing we need is a little strip of very vanilla. Now mine is cut 3 eighths of an inch by four and a quarter. Of course, that's all dependent on the stamp set you're using. I'm going to bring uh, bring in the bring on the presents. I really like this season's greetings. Of course, I know we all have a lot of different sentiments, so you might need to adjust that little strip based on your sentiment size. But guys, that's all we need. So let's go ahead and get started creating the cracker with our cardstock. I'm going to use my stamp and trimmer because it's got that great scoring blade on there. So I want to make sure that cutting blade is out of the way. We don't want to accidentally cut. So what we're going to do, we're going to start by scoring. I've got the eight and a half inch edge up here at the top. We're going to score it at one inch, one and a half inches, and two inches. We're now going to flip it around and we're going to repeat that. So once again, scoring at one inch, one and a half inches, and two inches. Great, we've got that. Now let's rotate the cardstock so we have the 11 inch side up here at the top. And for these scoring lines, we're going to go one and a quarter inch, two and a half inches. By the way, these measurements will be at simplysimplestamping.com, so you'll be able to grab them if you miss them. Three and three quarters of an inch, and five inches. All right, let's flip it around. We're gonna do that one more time. So that'll give me an opportunity to go over these measurements with you one more time. So we've got one and a quarter, two and a half, three and three quarters, and five inches. All right, I've got my card stuck in there. We actually need to cut this in half, and half is going to be five and a half. So I'm just gonna scoot that down. I can now bring in my cutting blade. I'm now ready with two Christmas crackers. One set of scoring, but two Christmas crackers. Now we're ready to give all of these lines a good crease with the bone folder. Now these short ones, I'm gonna bring both of these to the inside. And then you've got this scoring line on the middle, the one there in the middle and back again. You see how we just accordion folded that? We're gonna do the same thing here. All right, now that we have that, let's flip it over and we're ready to give all of these score lines a good crease. And this is where the magic happens. This is my envelope punch board. And let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna fold that down on one of the creases. I'm gonna put it inside my punch board and I'm gonna line it up on the one and a half inch mark, okay? Right there. Now I'm gonna tell you, we gotta punch through two layers. So it's a little tight, ready? There we go. You can see it punched through both of those. I can now flip this around, line it up, same place. Let me give that another punch. And there's that one. We're gonna fold it. I think you see what we're gonna do. We're just gonna keep doing this all the way down, flip it around so that we get it on both sides. Now, when you get to this last one, yeah, we need to do that one too. So you see that's where the, we had that little half inch 
mark. We're going to go ahead and get that one as well. Now we need one last one, and that's right up here at the top. This one's easy though, because we only have to go through one layer. Ooh, that's my favorite. I saved that one for the last because it's an easy one. There we go. It's time to actually glue it together. Now you can use tear and tape or you can use your multi-purpose glue. I know we all have our favorites. Today I decided to go ahead and just use the multi-purpose. It's pretty speedy. Okay. We're gonna give that a little press, make sure everything wants to stick together nicely. We don't want our cracker falling apart prematurely. I've got my four strips of designer paper. Guys, you can use your snail or, you know, my multi-purpose glue was out, so I say, why not just use it? We're going to center that on each panel of our cracker. You know, this is kind of the benefit of using the multi-purpose glue is you can move it around if you need to. Let's go ahead and add that paper on all four sides. We are gonna go ahead and close up one end. Now I'm paying attention to where that seam is because I want that seam down. So I'm going to take my beautiful gold met uh, metallic, I'll get it, gold metallic edge ribbon. I love this ribbon so much. We're gonna give that a really nice pull. Now I want you to see there is gonna be a hole there. So depending on what you put inside your cracker, like if you're gonna put something like M&Ms, you're going to need to put maybe a little cotton ball or a Hershey Kiss or something that will kind of um, keep that from um, spilling out. We don't want, want M&Ms going all over the stocking. So we're gonna give our ribbon a pretty little bow here on the end. I have got some adorable Hershey Kisses here. I found that you can get about a dozen Dozen. So you can get about 12 of these down inside your Christmas cracker. Um, I personally say you should put uh, get about 13 or 14 out and the other two extras are for you. Cause you know what, look, if they don't fit, I gotta eat these. Someone has to eat these, right? And now we can tie up this end in our pretty little bow. I'm gonna use a Mossy Meadow ink pad because it ties in nicely with my designer series paper. So there's my season's greetings. I'm gonna stamp that right here in the center of my very vanilla. All right, I'm now gonna cut to up the center of the, uh, what is that, the right side. Yeah, Connie knows her right from her left. And I'm going to cut up to that point. That's gonna give me some really nice long flags. I kinda like that for this project. Now we're gonna come back in with that bone folder and what I want to do is give this end a little curl up, flip it over, and now we're gonna give this a little curl down, okay? And now we're gonna flip this in and a little flip up. Just like that, really cute, right? Now to add this, let me bring my cracker back in. So I, you know, we, I was using the multi-purpose glue. Let's use it again. I'm gonna put a little glue right there on the end. You can use mini glue dots too, which I'm a huge fan of. And I'm just gonna tuck it right there. See this? I need that to kind of adhere down. Oh, well, that's easy enough. I got my multi-purpose glue. Just a little dot and I will press and hold that. I thought it was good, but it needed one more thing. And that one more thing is bling. Of course, it's gotta have a little bling. I'm gonna use my little take your pick tool because I think this thing works so well. Let's see, I'm gonna, there. Oh my goodness. These are so cute. Aren't they gonna be great in the stockings? I love them. And then what they do on Christmas morning, Give that a twist and the candy comes falling out. It's awesome. Now, now I, I kind of thought this would make a great project filled with maybe, oh, 10, 12 hundred dollar bills. Anyone else with me? I think I'd make a great gift, especially just a little something for the stocking. So Rich, if you're watching, hey, great gift idea for you. Okay, <laughs> hey guys, if you wanna get more information about today's project, maybe grab those measurements if you missed them or order any of the supplies that you need, here's what you need to do. Just head over to simplysimplestamping.com and look for the December 13th, 2018 blog post. I'll have all the information for you there. And when you want to order one of the products or all of the products you need to create this project, project. No problem. It's so simple. Click a pick. It's going to take you right over to my online store and you can order what you need right there. Well, guys, thank you again so much for being here for this One Sheet Wonder project. If you enjoy the project today and you want to see more, click the subscribe button to get notifications whenever I'm on. So guys, thank you so much for being here. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.